Hello everybody, I'm John Evans and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Hey, thanks for tuning into this episode. Are you a subscriber? You need to subscribe because the first Monday of the month uh, we give away vintage treasure to a subscriber that comments on that video. So you want to get cool, free vintage stuff, first Monday of the month, subscribe, comment, boom, right to your door. It's a public service I do. I do it out of love. Uh, I'd like to show you this thrift store haul that I found from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Uniontown, Pennsylvania, Maryland, maybe a little bit of West Virginia thrown in there. This was a great thrift store haul, good profit, uh, and some cool, cool little things like these three kitty cats. These are, this was $2.50 at the Habitat Home Store here in Oakland, Maryland. Two fifty, and they are in perfect condition. These just adorable kitties in a basket, man. Uh, this is probably 15 bucks. If it's a dollar, this is 15 bucks. So I'm going to put this in my booth. I'll get 15 bucks. They'll sell. Boom. Bing, bang, bing. Bing, bang, bang. Uh, next thing I found, I always talk about functionality in uh, vintage because that functionality and vintage cool design, when those collide, that's a good thing. These coasters are teak. These coasters are teak. Uh, these have the better look. I found this at the Friends Thrift Shop in uh, Pittsburgh, one of the underrated obscure thrift stores in Pittsburgh. Friends Thrift Store. This is three bucks. I'm going to sell these for 18 bucks. This was a dollar 50. I'm going to get 15 bucks for this. So I'm looking at 32 bucks ish off of four just from putting it in my booth because people need coasters. They got cool looks. You can pick these up for two, three bucks. Do it. Why not do it? These are the, these are the worker bees of your booths. If you have a booth at an antique mall, these things that you know, nothing exemplifies that more than this item. Oh my God. I've been thrift store shopping and, uh, and antiquing for a long time. And I have yet to run across this penguin uh, hot cold server. That's what it is. Some people will say ice bucket. This is a hot cold server. Um, you see, I mean, I've seen a billion of these penguin uh hot cold servers this or it's an ice bucket or a hot cold server it's made by west bend okay and you can't go to an antique mall an antique store uh without finding one of these people are always selling this has got to be the most common like vintage thing that i see these everywhere at antique places and they're always priced between 20 and well, yeah, 20 and 25 bucks. eBay prices are $24 plus shipping. You know, you're looking at 40 bucks total. Uh, but they, they, this is the, this is not uncommon. These are kind of everywhere. Now, this is one of the better ones because it has Bakelite, which is the first kind of plastic ever mass produced. So they've got the Bakelite handles, which has got that going for it at least. Uh, but this is a pretty common item. This is the first one I've ever found. I found it at my Goodwill for $3. So finally, I find one priced right where I go, you know, I'm going to buy this and uh, I'm going to put it in my booth for about 20 bucks. That's what I'm going to look to get out of it because I, I, I assure you, the, you'll find one. Go to any antique place, you'll find the Penguin Hot Cold Server. Never fails. Never fails. This next thing I found was a monster. This is a monster hit. I'm just going to throw this out there. This 1970s eyeball lamp. I was at Highland Thrift Shop in Grantsville, Maryland. Turned the corner and saw this beauty staring back at me. Literally, with this eyeball. That's what I saw. But uh, when I... This was $4.00. Man, this is a working 1970s eyeball lamp for $4. This is stunning to find out in the wild. I mean, really, this is... 
I'm going to probably put $75 on this. If this was chrome or silver, you know, this would be like double that. This would be $150. But because this is a later one, like the chrome ones are 60s. This is probably 70s, even maybe into the early 80s. But I think it's probably 70s. Works. Good shape. It's got a little blemish right there if you can see that but again for four bucks i'm looking at 75 dollars on the working 70s eyeball lamp all right staying in the 70s which is my favorite era of 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 this kind of stuff i found this now this is a original artwork i assume oil um and it's on some kind of like art little canvasy deal on the back now the hanger has it hanging this way i don't see that at all i see maybe this or i see maybe this but hidden into these squiggles and as i bring it closer the little black squiggles is a signature of someone called C Z E R S K I zerks i don't know C Z E R S K I, 1971. Zersky. Zersky? That sounds about right. Zersky? Well, Mr. Zersky, I applaud you because you chose some great colors. The year was 1971, the year I was born. So I bought, I paid $7.99 for this. You know, it's an original artwork by a nobody, but the, the key here is the visual, it's visually stunning. Someone will pay this because they like the color. They don't care if the artist, if this was a school project or what, because I'm going to ask 45, 50 bucks for it. So an original piece of art from 1971, marked 1971. Yeah, 45, that's a steal. This is, this is some cool mid-century art. All right, we're down to our last item, I think. Oh, wait, no, two. we got one more. almost forgot. Also at Highland Thrift Store, they wanted $4.50 for that. Man, I'm a buyer. I'm a strong buyer at $4.50 because this is about $25. Bucks. Uh, I'll throw this in the booth. $25, $26. Bucks. It's got the great color. And yeah, look at that. $4.50. For the giant snifter, the giant green snifter. I was, man, again, sometimes you see stuff and you go, why would anyone, why would anyone donate that? All right, we're down to our last item and uh, again, functional. That should be the theme of this show. Functional stuff. This next thing I found at the Goodwill in Oakland, Maryland for $8. This... Record rack, magazine rack. Look at the with a handle, tapered, made in. You see this? Made in Norway. Where does it say that? Well, somewhere right there. Made in Norway. So this is probably 1980s. Functional, huge. Records are really hot right now. So if you got a cool like record rack, they will sell. Records have never been hotter. Uh, so this, I look at it as a record rack. It fits records perfectly, but it could also be a magazine rack that you go either way with it. Eight bucks. I'm going to sell this for 50 bucks in my booth. And it will sell because it looks teak, but it ain't teak. It's that kind of particle board, but it is older from the 80s. Okay, so let's look at everything. I paid $40.50 for everything. $40.50. When it's all said and done through Facebook Marketplace, my booths at the antique malls, eBay, $303 off of $40. So that's pretty good profit and just uh, minimal effort, you know? I mean, I go to a lot of thrift stores, but, you know, I don't have a store or anything. I just do eBay, my booths, and you can do it too if you have the wherewithal. And, and use my steps as guidance on this program. Keep watching my show, Mid Mod Money, and remember to always round up.